Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to bring you this video on this Navy Federal credit card hack of getting $105,000 of credit card lines with Navy Federal. Now, if you don't know, Navy Federal for any individual person will only give you up to 80,000 in credit card line exposure. But we're gonna talk about a credit hack to get an additional $25,000. Even if you have bad credit, you can use this strategy. Now, if you're new to my channel, my channel is designed to help you no matter where you are in your credit journey. So if you like that kind of information, make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up also hit your notification bell so you can be notified anytime i upload a new video also at my website i give you a free hard inquiry removal package because they can get you denied for credit so download it today i'm pleased to announce that my credit program is now live if you're looking to move your credit profile to the top tier then i have designed my elite credit system for you now with this it will be ai driven and with the program you're able to import your credit scores and the ai system will analyze your credit and create custom disputes for your particular negative items on your credit report along with that i have tutorials and i will be doing credit coaching via live through a private Facebook group only for those who are in this elite credit system. And along with that, I'm going to be teaching you guys not only how to build your own credit, but your children's credit and your spouse and other family members with different techniques and how to get larger credit lines so you don't have these small little credit card lines that will drive up your utilization every time you use these cards now if you like that information or if you want to join you can just simply find all these links in the description of the video and in the pinned comment section Number one, if you want to become eligible to apply for credit cards with Navy Federal, you must be a member. In order for you to be a member, you must be connected to the United States military. Now, you can do this through various ways and means and could be even eligible to join even if your grandparents served in the military and even is deceased. You can call into their customer service to find out the avenues to join. And I have a video on backdoor ways on how you can get into Navy federal i'll leave that link for that video in the description of this video now once you join navy federal is very important that you start to quickly develop a relationship if you join today or tomorrow i would give it 90 days of you making deposits by opening a check-in and a savings account putting money in there regularly or even having your direct deposits going there so you can develop a banking relationship at least for 90 days because if you apply too quickly you can get approved for their credit cards but you might get boxed in with a smaller initial credit card now understand you can only have three credit cards on the personal side so you want to make sure you utilize and take your opportunity with that first initial credit card to get as big of a line as possible now if you're already a member i want you guys to make sure your accounts are current if you have overdrawn recently on your account give it 30 days of at uh, least well actually give it 90 days i'm sorry of good standing on that account don't apply because that's a red flag that you're financially strapped or you're not responsible so you can get denied 
even if you're currently a member, but your accounts are all overdrawn or recently. So get that back in good standing. And then we're going to step two. So number two, this is foundational if we want to get these larger credit lines. Now understand your credit score is made out of five factors. 35% is payment history, how you paid your bills in the past. 30% is debt to available credit or what we call as utilization. Also 15% is age of credit. 10% is mix of credit how do you handle different types of credit lines and 10 percent is inquiries just new applying for new credit okay so those are the five factors understand that 35 percent being payment history and 30 percent which is utilization debt to available credit is 65 percent of your credit score the biggest chunk so if you want to get those large lines, understand banks only trust you as far as the last bank trusts you. So adding on trade lines before you apply can help you get approved. So imagine just like this, if a person just came out of auto mechanic school and your car needed to be repaired, if they haven't really repaired cars before or been in business, you wouldn't want that person changing your transmission or changing your motor. You would only probably let them change your rear view mirror or side mirror, something small, because you don't know their history with repairing cars. It's the same thing with the bank. They don't want to trust you with credit if you don't have experience with credit. So we want to build this profile. Now, if you're a person with trouble credit and you have a thin credit profile, meaning less than five active, and if you got a ton of bad charged off accounts, you want to add a positive line of credit reporting like Covo. It's an installment loan, which itself is only for a total of $240, but the payment is only $10 a month. Now, why is this good? $10 for a two year period. The reason why this is good is going to give you a positive trade line and it looks like it's extended by someone else who trusted you and it's primary. It's a primary trade line, meaning you got it off your own name and merit, not like an authorized user account that's off of someone else's credit score. So that is going to be helpful. And being that it's only $10 a month, it will not affect your DTI, meaning debt to income. Because if you don't know, banks determine how much credit card limits they're going to give you or even loan you a loan by how much income versus your debt. Okay, so that's a good trade line for that. The second part is having a large enough credit card line reporting to your credit report because banks only trust you as far as the last bank trusts you and you want something at least around five thousand dollars reporting as a primary trade line not an authorized user they already understand if you're an authorized user you're picking backing on somebody else credit so that doesn't count and you're going to need this for this hack that i'm going to give you down the line you want a primary trade line with a unsecured line of credit as a revolving account meaning like a credit card account so to achieve this goal you can use uh trade lines where you can get um a line of unsecured credit from intrigued jewelers who will give you up to ten thousand dollars okay um of a line of credit now with that you buy jewelry but it is a line of credit issued by a bank oasis bank so 
this look like that bank extended you credit. There's no hard inquiry for both of those options, options, Covo or Intrigue Jewelers, so you won't bring down your credit score with an inquiry. Now with Intrigue Jewelers, like I said, it's up to $10,000, but you can qualify for 5,000, which will meet that mark, but you can go there to see if you qualify for that and find out if we can get you at least that trade line of unsecured credit of at least $5,000 and up because it's important. If a prior bank gave you that amount, the next banks that you're applying for will be more inclined to give you a larger line of credit. Now you can also use Stellify. They go all the way up to a $25,000 trade line of revolving credit to report on your credit report without a hard inquiry. Now with them, you they actually extend you a line of credit, but it will be connected to different types of utilities like your Netflix accounts, and it won't be a credit card in itself. So with that, you can still have that line of credit reporting to your credit report to help you qualify for another unsecured line of credit. Now, when it comes to revolving lines of credit like Intrigue and uh, Jewelers and Stellify, because they're unsecured lines of credit, revolving credit, you'll see an increase on average of 50 points once that line of credit report if you're under a 700 credit score okay now if you're a person over a 700 credit score you might not want to take this route okay because adding a new unsecured line of credit or any new credit and you're over a 700 credit score can decrease it can decrease your credit score because Age of credit comes very important when you're over a 700 credit score. So for you, in order to increase your credit score, you might be um, added on as an authorized user or take the steps if you don't have a primary line of credit reporting. We can go into some other options as we go into these next steps. So you guys pay attention. Now, step three, if you added on that trade line and step two, you only want to do those once at a time. Wait for one to report and then do the next one. It's generally going to take 30 days. Now, why this is important for step three, because by then your credit score, if you're under a 700 credit score, should increase okay once it hit and report on average of 50 points so now that you're a member now that you have this line of credit on that's five thousand dollars and up or added this to increase your credit score you can do the third step which is pre-qualified okay see if you can get pre-qualified for their credit cards you can do so without a hard inquiry with navy federal so you'll have to go into your account and um get pre-qualified you can do it on their website now with the cards that's coming up the strategy is this if you're a person that has good credit and you already pretty much have that $5,000 line of credit, if you're seeing the flagship, which is their premium credit card, you want to go with that card if you see that card. Now, it's important if you're seeing that card for you being qualified for that and you don't have a $5,000 um uh, you know, unsecured line of credit or credit card, just be a little bit weary because with that card, you must be able to qualify for a $5,000 credit line because it's a visa signature credit card. Now with anything with a visa signature, those cards generally 
is starting off with a trade line of five thousand dollars minimum minimum on any visa signature card okay so you're gonna have to be able to qualify for that five thousand dollars now if you're not sure if you'll be able to qualify for that you can go with some of the other cards if they're showing up like the gold rewards the cash rewards um also you know the uh, American Express card you can go with those if you're seeing that pop up now if you get approved for that card what you can do is do a product change after a year now understand why you might want to do that product change to the flagship oh uh, after a year is because of this with Navy Federal all the other credit cards besides the flagship the flagship itself can have a credit line going all the way up to that eighty thousand dollar mark the rest of the credit cards you can only be maxed to approve for fifty thousand dollars so what you can do if you get approved on those other cards you can do that product change in a year just call them up it's not a hard inquiry and go over to the flagship so you can aim for that eighty thousand dollar line of credit now understand if you get other credit cards it's a combined of all your credit cards they're gonna give you eighty thousand for each person that's as far as they're gonna go on that personal side so keep that in mind for you to make that play and you can go ahead for credit line increases to get you to that eighty thousand if you're not you know get that 25 and you want to apply for these increases every i'm going to tell you guys 100 days because you have to wait at least 91 days in order for you up to apply for another line of credit or another product with Navy Fed, 91 days or three statements, but to be safe, do it a hundred days. And you can do that pretty much on average every, you know, three months to ask for that credit card increase. Now it's a soft pull. If you do it in the system, if you call on the phone, they're going to, they could possibly do, and most likely a hard pull. So stay away from that. You'll do that in your app on your phone or online. Okay. To apply for that increase. Now say if you're a person with trouble credit and the only product that's popping up is the secure credit card, go with the secure credit card you can put down as little as 500 to 200 dollars with that you know secure credit card and in six months they can convert that card to an unsecured card and generally when i work with people on average even if they put 500 dollars down it'll convert over to a two thousand dollar line of credit is majority of times of what i see and then they will put that money back into your savings account okay so a lot of people will say oh you know you can go for the pledge loan and to build your relationship well why do that when you can see that credit line uh your credit score increase by adding on that a line of credit a revolving line of credit like that secure credit card and you can see your score increase with that on average of 50 points if you're under a 700 credit score that's equally a product as a pledge loan so why would you go for the pledge loan when you can just get the credit card and they'll convert that into an unsecured line of credit you can then go for your credit line increases just like what i just said for all those who qualified for the card after that 100 days to increase that line of credit now if you are going to convert over and do a product change to the flagship you must at least have a five thousand dollar line of credit with navy federal on those other credit cards so y'all want to work your way up in order to do the product change to get at that 
credit line going up to $80,000. Okay. So that's what you want to do so you can get that line of credit. Now, if you have trouble or bad credit, don't worry about it because Navy Federal use a FICO score nine. So if you're a person that has trouble credit because of medical bills and medical collections, they won't take that into an account. So it's more forgiving where you will have a higher credit score and using the strategies I just gave you can increase your credit score and Navy Federal is bankruptcy friendly. So if your credit is a little shaky because of bankruptcy, you can still get these credit lines. Now we're going to go to step four. Now, step four, if you have did the techniques I gave you in step three and worked your way up to a total of 80,000 and unsecured credit lines over on your personal side. Now you can get a, another additional 25,000 of a credit card line if you go to the business side. So with Navy Federal, you can get a business credit card. You can do that in your own personal name. So a lot of people don't talk about being a sole proprietor, <laughs> meaning using your own social security number, you can still be in business. So you can get a business credit card in your name. So you can use that strategy or you can even go ahead. If you have an LLC or you want to establish one, get it on your business side, a $25,000 credit card over on that business side of Navy Federal. Now that's the largest limit they'll go on that side, but on your personal side, what a lot of people don't talk about, and I will be talking about in my elite credit system, where with that personal side in your own name, you can get a credit card, but what you can do is attach a EIN number to your personal name where your utilization on that card won't report to your personal credit report. You can do that. So if you're a person that's an independent contractor, like doing gig work, like DoorDash, Uber Eats, you can get a business credit card. Or if you're a sole proprietorship where you have a lawn care business and you're cutting lawns, but you're not incorporated, you're still in business. Understand that as a sole proprietor. So even under your social security Number, you can get a business credit card, or like I said, you can attach an EIN number to your sole proprietorship or even as an independent contractor where that balance or utilization don't report to your personal social security number credit report. So that's an angle. And also you can establish a LLC that's a multi-membered LLC or any other kind of incorporation like a C-Corp, S-Corp, those kind of corporations where you can have more than one board member or if you're a multi-member LLC, there's more than one member or owner that's a part of that cooperation and that other person can apply as that PG and you can get that credit card also in your name as you guys being actual managers of that corporation. So your spouse can do that. If you have a spouse with better credit than you, you can take that angle. Now keep in mind why I said that $5,000, you know, credit card line that needs to be primary on your credit report. Most of the time for business credit, banks want to see that on your personal 
side that you lease have a $5,000 credit card that's primary in your own name, not an authorized user, that you got it off of your own credit. So that's why you want to establish those so you can get approved. And with Navy Federal, you can have either your spouse or whoever else that's an owner that are part of a managing member of your LLC can apply for that credit card and you can have that credit card too. And both of you guys to access that other $25,000 on your personal side, or you can do it in your own name. Now, understand with that, on that business side, if you get two credit cards, it has to be split of that $25,000. So that's the max that they're gonna give on that business side, but that's a way for you to access more of a larger line of credit or credit card lines with Navy Federal for a hat. And just keep this in the back of your mind when it comes down to business credit cards, they're gonna generally give you a credit card line 5,000, 10,000 and up. So probably on average about nine to 10,000 just to start with, with a starting line of credit because you're in business. And like I said, you can get this even in your own personal name. So hopefully this information was helpful and this is the hack that you can use to access larger lines of credit with Navy Federal. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section, or you can actually submit your questions to my website and all those questions go directly to my cell phone. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.